deal with that the latter first, how frail I am. And I'm not frail physically. I'm not talking about this body, and although this body is frail, feeble, and finite, but I am more frail spiritually. Come on, help me here. Because if we're honest with ourselves, many of us are not as strong as we think we are. I know we got some superhuman Christians in here. You know, able to leap tall sins at a single bound. More faster than adultery. Come on, help me here. <laughs> but, but I'm not a super Christian. I totally and wholly depend upon God. Without God, I could do nothing. Without him, I would fail. Without him, I would be just like a ship. Help me, somebody. Without a sail. Sometime, I said it before and I said it again. Sometime I come to church, I don't feel like it. Sometimes I'm tired. And some days I've been sick and tell folk. But sometimes I've been just not feeling churchy. Maybe it's just me. And I come here and Diane get up singing with the praise team and saying, stand on your feet and praise God. And my mind is telling me I don't feel like all that. I feel like doing that. I feel like standing up. I'm the only one in here like that. I feel like waving my hand today. I did it last Sunday. I don't know. But then God reminds me. That I wouldn't have hands if it hadn't been for him. I wouldn't have a mind if it hadn't been for him. I wouldn't have got up this morning if it hadn't been for him. Matter of fact, look at somebody and say, if it had not been. Come on, you ain't looking at them. Look at them. They ain't going to bite you. Say, if it had not been. I said I wasn't going to do this. If it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, where would I be? Good evening, y'all. God bless you. Real good. But somebody looking at you funny and tell them, neighbor, it may be my body, but it is God's temple. And I got to give God praise. Is there anybody in here that you got to give God praise? As good as God has been to me, I've got to give God praise. I dare somebody, matter of fact, everybody ought to be on your feet and waving your hand and give a God a praise because it belongs to God. And I dare you to look up and tell God, thank you, sir, for everything you've done for me. Thank you, Lord. Now listen, keep standing, keep standing. Keep standing because you know what? That's our cue right there. We wait for the organ. We wait for the piano. We wait for the guitar. We wait for the drum. But you know, when I got up this morning, I didn't have no organ in my house. I didn't have no piano in my house. I didn't have Robert Johnson or Donnell in my house. But I had food on my table. And I had clothes on my back. And if you're not too cute, if you're not too sedated, if you don't think you're all that, won't you give God on no music praise? Won't you give God on no music hallelujah? And tell God thank you. Yeah! Tell him thank you, sir. Listen to me, well. Now listen. I don't want you to get it wrong. Because that is not the only way you glorify God. 
that you glorify God in your daily living? You go you glorify God in your private time. When you're away from the house of God. When people can see a sermon. When people can see you in the workplace and see how you shop at Walmart. Come on, help me here. I believe when you're at Walmart, you ought to, you ought to be walking down the aisle singing church songs. Sometimes I do that. I'm the only one in here. But I can remember when me and Dale first got married, we didn't have a whole lot of money to buy stuff. But now God has blessed me when I can walk down the Walmart and buy what I want to buy. And sometimes I walk and I'll be, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Well, you brought me from a mighty, a mighty long way. A mighty long way. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody do that? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Find this hour. Why don't you come? The door's open. The door's open. God bless you. There are others would you come? Come on, come on, come on, come on. 